Welcome back to my channel. So this is my second ever video here on YouTube. I decided to film a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. I kind of just made this up on the spot. It's a really fun pink glittery cat eye. So it really brightens up and opens up the eyes. So if you have small eyes, this look will be perfect for you. But if not, it looks good on absolutely anyone. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, just please keep on watching. So first I'm just going to be going in using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm just going to be spritzing that all over the face. Then you want to let it dry and you want to pat it with your hand just so it gets super tacky so the foundation really sticks. For foundation I will be using the L'Oreal True Match in the shade N3 and I'm just going to apply that all over the skin using a Real Techniques buffing brush. When applying any eyeshadow, you really want to prime your eyelids. So I'm going to be using the NYX eyeshadow primer in the shade Natural. I'm just going to put that all over the lid and then I'm going to set it using the Kat Von D shade and light palette in just the center highlighting shade. For my brows, I'll be using the Sephora Waterproof Eyebrow Crayon in the shade Honey Blonde. I'm just going to apply that to the inner corners of my brow just so it gets that ombre effect. Also, I have had the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and this is honestly the exact same thing, the exact same packaging, but it is half the price, so you can get it at Sephora, and honestly, if you like the Brow Wiz, I would try this out for, I think it's $16 compared to $32 for the Anastasia one. I'll just be taking any type of concealer and a small brush, and I'll just be carving out the brows, so I like to go under the brows and on top as well and then you just want to pull it down and blend it out with your finger. If you like more of a natural brow I don't suggest doing this but if you want your brows to be on fleek you definitely want to carve them out just to get the super precise lines. And lastly for the brows, I will be using my Wet n Wild Clear Brow Gel and I'm just going to coat the brows so all the hairs stay in place. If your brows are anything like mine, mine like to go a little crazy. So this just helps really keep them in place all day long. Starting off with the eyes, I'll be going in with my Shade and Light Eye Palette and the shade Latest, I believe it is, with my E40 brush and I'm just going to apply that all over the crease of my eye and this just works as a really good transition shade. Next, I will be going in using Latinus. These names are really hard to pronounce, but it's a light brown shade, and I'm just going to put that more on the outer crease and not as blended as the first shade. When doing a smoky eye, never just use one shade. Always build up your colors by going a little bit darker each time. It really blends it out and makes it look a lot smokier and better. Next I'll be using the shade right next to the light brown that we use. I think it's Psytri or Sea Tree or something along those lines and I'll be using a Morphe B79 brush. It's a tapered brush so it, so it just puts it right in the corner and you just want to blend it in. You don't want to blend it out as much as the other shades but you just want to go right in the corner. After adding a shade, you always want to go back in with one of your big brushes and you just want to blend it out and I'm going in with the Morphe M139 brush. To ensure that my glitter sticks, I will be using the Urban Decay Shadow Insurance. And for the pigment, I'm going in using the MAC Whisper Pink pigment. It was part of a set for Christmas, so I don't know if they sell it by itself, but it is a super nice pink shade that I use on all my bridal clients. It is absolutely perfect for this look as well. So you just want to apply that all over the lid. 
Again, I'm just going to blend that out using the Morphe M139 brush. For liner, I'll be using my NYC liquid liner in the shade Black. This is my favorite liner and it's super cheap. You can get it just from Walmart. I just like to apply it on the base and then I'll make a line from the corner of my eye to the tip of my brow and then I'll just connect it and that is a perfect way to get both of your wings to be the exact same on each side. Also, please excuse my resting bitch face. I never realized how bad it was until I started filming these videos, but I'm not actually mad at all throughout this video, and I don't hate you, so please just excuse that. It's just a very, very bad resting bitch face. And a good way to make your liner look super crisp and clean is always take a concealer under your wing and just clean up the bottom so it's a really precise line and it'll completely transform your liner. For mascara, I'm going to be using my favorite mascara which is a telescopic in blackest black and I'm just going to heavily apply that all over my lashes. So today I'll be going in with my favorite lashes at the moment which are Iconics by House of Lashes. They're extremely long and bold and they really just make any look pop. Also a tip for applying fake eyelashes is you always 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 want to let your glue dry and get tacky. So let it dry for about 30 seconds to a minute just so it is so much easier to apply and it doesn't your lashes don't move around on you. Also I like to take tweezers in the inner corner of the eye and I just like to pinch the lashes with your natural lashes so it really blends in and the inner corners don't lift up throughout the day. And this is my favorite part about doing makeup. I don't know why. I just feel like it's when everything comes together is when I add my concealer. I'll be going in with my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light. And I'll be heavily applying that in a triangular shape underneath the eyes and on the highest points of my face. So down my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and on the center of my forehead. Under the eye, I just like to blend it in with some random brush that I've always used. And then for the face, I like to go in with my foundation brush that I used at the beginning. And I just like to blend it in that way. To set that concealer, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to mix the middle shade with the left shade and my Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm just going to set every place that I just concealed, so under the eyes and all on the center of my face. Even if you're going for more of a dewy look, you always want to set your concealer with a powder just so you have no creasing throughout the day. After I'm done concealing, I like to go in and finish off the eyes. I'm going in using the Succumbus shade as the brow highlight, and then I'll be taking Whisper Pink and just apply that to the inner tear ducts of my eyes. I will be lining my waterline using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. Under the eye, I'll be going in with the light brown shade that we used at the beginning and the ready shade in the palette, and I'm just going to be using a small eyeliner brush to create the cat eye in the center of the eye so you just want to follow your natural tear duct and you just want to create the line a little bit under it. Once you create the cat eye effect you will be putting the same shades under the eye and blending that out a little bit more. You don't want to blend out the cat eye just on the outer corners. And I skipped doing my bottom mascara, but I just applied my telescopic to the bottom. Next, I am going in with my Inglot angled brush and the middle shade of the contouring colors in the shade and light palette. I'm just going to be applying that to my cheeks, under my chin, on the tops of my forehead or my temples. And I'm just going to really bronze up the skin before I contour, and that'll just make it a lot more blended. I don't like a really intense contoured nose, but I'm taking the exact same shade and the Morphe M139 brush and I'm just going to lightly carve out my nose. For contouring, I will be using the exact same middle shade and the Must Have Angled Brush number 50 by Sephora. I'm just going to carve out my cheeks and blend it upwards. You never want to blend it down because that would defeat the purpose of the contour. So you want to blend it up, but you also want to add the shade to the exact same spots that you added the bronzy shade as well. 
Next, I'm going to be using my contour brush by Real Techniques and the gray shadow on the left of the palette. And I'm just going to swipe that just on the hollows on my cheeks to really hollow it out. For blush, I will be using the Marc Jacobs blush and my Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Also, another tip if you want to make your lips appear larger, just contour a little bit below your bottom lip and it should make your bottom lip look a little bit more pouty. For highlighter, I will be taking the Morphe M501 brush, which is the brush that Jaclyn Hill uses and I'm using the Becca Champagne Pop. And I am just applying that to the very highest points of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow and on the center of my face. For lips, I'm using MAC Soar Lip Liner and for lipstick, number 665 by Maybelline. It is called Lust for Blush and it's just a nice mauve pink shade. And just like the brows, you wanna go along the lines of your lips with a concealer and a small brush just to really clean up your lipstick lines and make them really crisp. If you have trouble with your lipstick bleeding, this is a perfect way to keep your lipstick in place all day long. So guys, this is the completed makeup look here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this look and you recreated it, don't forget to send me some pictures on my Facebook or my Instagram. My Instagram is makeup by underscore Maddie, that's M-A-D-Y. And if you have any suggestions on what I should film next, please don't hesitate to comment down below or write to me on any of my social media. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.